Here is how to make chicken afritada, one of the most delicious chicken sauces of all time. Not every time regular tomato stew. Try out this recipe and you'll be so hooked. I am Chef Evelyn Ijama. Welcome to my channel. For this recipe, we'll be needing some carrots, Irish potato, cilantro and parsley leaves, onion, ginger, garlic, yellow, green and red bell peppers, spring onion, green peas and green beans. I washed my chicken with vinegar and lemon juice. Now we are going to season it with some salt, garlic powder, black pepper powder, onion powder, ginger powder, paprika powder, rosemary, thyme, gino curry powder, Benny chicken seasoning powder, oregano, dark soy sauce, vegetable oil to lock in all the spices, and sesame oil for flavor. Combine thoroughly and set aside to marinate for about 30 minutes. To a pan, add some vegetable oil or any oil of your choice. Go in with the marinated chicken and make sure you fry for 3 minutes on both sides. You want to have your eyes on the chicken so it doesn't burn. After 6 minutes, go in with the chopped garlic and ginger, onion, then pepper mix which is a combination of habanero pepper and some onion. Now give that a thorough mix so that everything is well combined. Add paprika powder and some tomato paste. Traditionally, chicken afritada is a tomato based sauce but tastes nothing like your regular tomato stew. Stir fry for about 3 minutes and add your tomato puree or fresh tomatoes if that is what you have. Give that a good stir and let it fry for about 6 minutes. Keep checking at intervals so that it doesn't burn. For a tomato paste, patience is needed to get rid of the sour taste. Add some cilantro stock for flavor, Irish potatoes, salt to taste, stir to combine, add some water and let that cook for 4 minutes. 4 minutes later, it's time to add the carrots and let that cook for another 3 minutes. Now it's time to season with some curry powder, some Benny seasoning powder, give that a good stir. Then go in with all the veggies, the parsley and cilantro leaves. Please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you've watched thus far. I added some dark soy sauce and finished up with some sesame oil for aroma and flavor. The aroma from this sauce is super amazing. You just have to experience it yourself. Just have a look at this delicious pot of goodness. Well, I paired mine with some white rice. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. See you on my next. Bye.